Ain't never met a girl like you, no, no, baby. Welcome back to another video. Um, if you just watched the last video, you just watched me stuff the money for my cash stuffing. Now you're going to watch me um take it out. <laughs> no, this I'm just gonna show you guys a quick video of how I pay back my credit cards because I didn't do all the cash stuffing on time and I was late doing it. A lot of my spending or all of my spending was on my credit cards, so I need to pay that money back. So I wrote down the categories that I spent on and the where I need to take that money from. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. The first thing I have is car and um, I had to buy a new battery for my car remote or yeah, for my remote to my car. So um, I had to take out $8. I don't have, do I have that? No, I don't have that. So I'm just going to take out a full $10. What's today? 21. All right. So I'm going to take out $10. And that now gives me one, two, three, four hundred, four fifty, four seventy, four ninety, five ten, five twenty, five thirty, thirty one, thirty two, and thirty three. So five thirty three left in the car. I'm going to move this out the way. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to jump down to household. I need to take $20 out of there. So I'm going to take just 20 out of household and now I have 10, 25, 26, 27, and 28. I'm actually surprised I don't have shopping on this list, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> Next, I need to take out um, $10 from business or my side hustle income because I had to make like purchases from that or for that. So I only have a 20. I'll take the 20 and put back a 10. So now I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. Okay. Next, I have to take out um, $10 for tech or $9, but I don't think I have $9. So I'm going to take out a 10 for tech because I had to get a... Um, what is it called? I had to get a screen protector because mine like just completely messed up. So, but they're pretty durable. So I'm not mad. Okay. So now I have 150, 70, 90, 210, 230, 240. So 240 in tech. I'm gonna go towards second sinking funds binder. And Uma, I have to take out $20 for her food. So I'm gonna take out a 20. And now I have 100, 150, 170, 180, 190, 191. And she has to go to the groomers this weekend. So that should be enough. Okay. 
Next is going to be a GP. And I have to take out 95. I'm not worried because I'm gonna put a huge chunk in there in this envelope next pay period. So, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just take out all this money here. So that's 20, 40, 50, 60. So I'm gonna say minus 60. So now I owe 35. And I'm okay waiting until next pay period to pay that off, that's fine. I also have to take out um, $30 for self-care. So that's 20 and a 10. So I have 20, 45, 50 left over for self-care. Isn't it crazy that that's not even enough for a pedicure these days? Like freaking inflation man okay next i have i'm gonna just start with at the top with groceries so i did my groceries already that was 80 dollars. so i have 20 30 or 20 40 60 70 75 and 80 so i'm just gonna take all of that out and then miscellaneous i gotta take out the whole 15 yeah, I was I was spending spending as usual within my means ish. Um, guess I'm taking out thirty, so that'll be a twenty and a ten. I'm gonna leave the twenty to the side because I have to exchange these on um, these this binder anyway. Um, so that was guess. And then dining out, I'm going to take out the full 100. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 95, 100. And that will be good. And then dang it, I need to take out 25. Okay, so dang it, I'm going to take out 25. That was for unbudgeted spending. And now I have 20, 30, 45, 46, and 47 left over in Zingit. And that is it for this. Um, That should technically bring me to 442 if I had paid this $35, but I'm gonna wait to pay that. So it's going to bring me to actual total of 407-ish. Let's see what I have because I didn't take out the exact amounts because I didn't have like change. So I have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85, 95, 400, 510. So I have $410 that I'm going to deposit into my bank to pay off my credit card. And then I still owe I still owe $32. So um when I do the next cash stuffing or when I get paid for my next pay period, I will put that money towards the bank account to pay off, or I will put that money towards my credit card. All right. And then for this money, so this is going to go into like my withdrawal slash deposit envelope. This is going to go, this was the extra $20 I had left over for transportation. 
um, I'm gonna put this into my envelope challenge and then at the next cash stuffing, I will stuff whatever rollover money is in here. And since I'm technically at a new week, I need to go ahead and stuff this binder for the next week. So I have this binder here that you guys never really get to see me switch out. So I'll do that for y'all today. And I don't, y'all don't see me do it because it's nothing like exciting. <laughs> I'm just literally switching it over to the smaller binder. But I have 20, oh, I can't handle my bills today. I have 20, 40, 60, 75, $80 for groceries. I'm planning on picking those up this weekend. And then miscellaneous has its usual 15. And I'm gonna try to have some rollover money. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. Um, guess we'll do $50. And dining, we'll do 100. So because I'm trying to like stay motivated and consistent on this eating healthy or and exercise journey, I, I'm wondering if I need to increase my grocery budget because if I wanna eat good stuff and not like the same exact thing every day, I have to make the stuff at home instead of like going to Wendy's. But I need to make food at home and I need to have a variety. And to have a variety, I need to buy more ingredients. So I think I need to increase my grocery budget, but I don't know. I mean, I am gonna increase it, but being healthy is expensive. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. <laughs> but dining out is going to get 20, 40, 60, 80, 95, 100. Maybe I won't spend as much dining out if I eat the food I have at home. <laughs> Cute. Um, <laughs> and then self-care. I'm just going to leave that still in here because I don't think I'm getting my nose done anytime soon. Or not this week at least. And then that'll be it for this binder. And that'll be it for this video. So thank y'all so much for tuning in to this quick video. And until next time, guys. Bye.